In the summer of 2005, I planted a garden, and in my garden, I planted thyme. And throughout the summer, it spread across the earth, and I remember having the thought in September of 2005 that I had more thyme than I needed. And uh, about two weeks later, I found the lump. So I was diagnosed on a Monday. I met with my team of doctors at Mount Auburn on a Tuesday morning, and on Friday morning, I had my first chemo session. So uh, within five days of diagnosis, I was beginning chemo treatments. So the very first day that I went in for treatment, I was in the radiology department, and there's a nurse there named Faith, who, having been given all of this information and kind of feeling overwhelmed and yet hopeful, I turned to Faith and said, I'm going to be your next great story at Mount Auburn. And she said, you already are. And what I love about that is that that was day one. That was the first day. And from the first day at Mount Auburn, I was treated like their next great story. I believed that stage three aggressive breast cancer was a death sentence. And I did not think I had much time. It was devastating. When you first get diagnosed with uh, a late-stage breast cancer, one of the things you hear is the mortality rates, and uh, the, that's hard news. And the, uh, the likelihood of death becomes a more prominent message than the likelihood of survival. And so when I looked at my mortality rates, they were rather grim. But the message that the doctors gave me, the message that the hospital gave me was, we need to give you this information, but we will not define you by this information. And I was treated with the expectation of survival. It is the great gift from Mount Auburn Hospital that I now have more time. The first time I was treated in the chemotherapy unit, there's a poem there, and I think all cancer patients are probably very familiar with this poem, and it's a very hopeful poem about uh, what cancer can't take from you, and it can't take your heart, and it can't take your love, and it can't take your hope, and the truth is, when I read it, and I consider myself fairly positive, but when I read it, I said, yes, it can. Cancer can take all of those things from you. Cancer can be devastating, and you have to fight mightily to protect against the stealing of hope, the stealing of joy. And I could not have won that fight without my doctors at Mount Auburn. They were the team, they were the support network that gave me the chance to fight back with cancer and um, hang on to hope and hang on to joy and ultimately hang on to life. The role of my physicians and the support staff at Mount Auburn Hospital isn't just to eradicate the cancer, it's to give you a quality of life that you can enjoy. It's to give you the promise of more time and the possibilities that it presents. And so uh, when I was treated at the hospital, I was treated as more than my disease, I was treated as, uh, as a human being, as, as a person with a heart and a soul and dreams and aspirations, and I was treated as if I ought to be able to live my dreams. So my oldest child is getting married on New Year's Eve, and I will be there. And that is in great part thanks to the treatment I received at Mount Auburn. My son graduated from college and I was there. And that's in great part a thank you to Mount Auburn Hospital. I can walk my dog and go to the beach and garden and teach. And every moment is a gift from the treatment that I received at Mount Auburn. Mount Auburn Hospital Health Connection and its partners are dedicated to improving the health of our community.